Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.17 A person who delights in the self, however, and who remains contented and fully satisfied in the self, has no duties to perform. Sa'ardavarshini So far, it has been explained that those who are unable to perform action, karma, in a selfless manner, should perform action with the intention of enjoying its fruit, sakama karma. Those who are situated on the platform of jnana, or realized knowledge, have pure hearts, so they never engage in performing routine fruitive action. The next two verses, beginning here with Yastu, are spoken to explain this. Atmaratihi means those who take pleasure in the self. If a person is satisfied within the self, would he even be slightly satisfied with external sense objects? In response to this, Sri Bhagavan says, one who is satisfied within has no need for external sense pleasures and is therefore not obliged to perform prescribed duties. Sardavarshini Prakashikariti Living entities who are absorbed in the cycle of karma, which has been described above, perform action knowing it to be their duty. However, those who can discriminate between the self and inert objects engage solely in the cultivation of the self. They remain content within the self because they are able to take pleasure in the self, Atmarama, and can satisfy all their desires in the self, Abda Kama. Such exalted personalities are of two types. First, those who seek the soul through transcendental knowledge, Jnan Yogis, and second, those who cultivate the path of pure love for the Supreme Lord, Bhakti Yogis. Personalities like the four Kumaras, Sanaka, Sanandana, Sanatana, and Sanat Kumara, are considered to be in the first category, while personalities like Sri Narada fall in the second. They do not perform their prescribed duty, although they know it's obligatory. Instead, they maintain their lives by performing acts that are favorable to bhakti. Becoming free from the cycle of karma, they search for peace in the form of love for Bhagavan. Although they perform all sorts of activities, they perform no material action. Therefore, their activity is not called karma, but in accordance with their specific qualification, it is called jnana or bhakti. It is also said in Mundaka Upanishad 3.1.4 Atma Krita Atmarati Kriyavan Esha Brahma Vidam Varishtahaha. Those who take pleasure in the self, whose attachment is in the self, and who are active only in the self, are the best among those who know the Vedas.